Hello all, welcome to the Adhikamana Achievers Institute. We share the spectrum of knowledge. We take the tuition classes for 3rd to 10th standards, which involves state, CBSE, ICSE. Also, we take exclusive classes for Navodaya. Now, if you are interested, please do contact the mentioned numbers and we have our location also which is the base location at Bangalore we have the other locations at different districts today I am going to take the topic of the distance and displacement now what do we mean by distance and what do we mean by displacement we will see it so distance what type of quantity is distance and what type of quantity is displacement Distance is a scalar quantity and the displacement is a vector quantity. Now we will see what do we mean by the scalar quantity and what do we mean by this vector quantity. First we will take up what is scalar. Now the scalar is nothing but it is a physical quantity which requires only magnitude for its description. For example, we can take the distance as well as mass and we can take the other examples. Next we will go for what do we mean by vectors. Vectors are nothing but those are also physical quantities which requires both magnitude as well as the direction for its description. Now what are its examples? We take the displacement and the weight. In today's session we will see the distance and the displacement in detail. Now, we will go ahead one by one. What do we mean by distance? The distance is nothing but the length of the actual path. What do we mean by actual path? We will see it with a picturized example. So, if I take the distance between A and B, I have to calculate all the distances from A to if I take this for sum of 2 kilometers I have to calculate 2 plus 2 plus 2 and plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so all these plus 2's will be added and they will be given together that is called my distance and it is my scalar quantity always remember distance means it's a scalar quantity and it involves all the paths. We have to calculate all the paths. If I move from A to B, I have to calculate all the paths from A to B. However, it is covered. Now, let us go with what do we mean by displacement. Displacement is nothing but the shortest distance between the source and the destination. And it is a vector quantity. Now, if I just take A to B, even though if I traveled the path however uh, I want, that is if I, if I travel in the distance path itself, I don't consider all those things and taken into the consideration, but I only take the shortest distance between A and B. Okay, got it? That is the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is a scalar quantity and it involves the randomness that is it can go uh, however we go we have to calculate all the paths but here I have to calculate the shortest path and I have to find out which is the shortest path between A and B which is the shortest path between these two I have to calculate that that is called my displacement and it involves both the magnitude as well as direction like the weight okay Weight involves the gravitation also, like that it involves the direction also. Now, we will take up a problem on this for our better understanding. Under this problem, an object moves from A to B in a circular path of radius 7 meters. Now, we have to calculate what is the distance traveled and what is its displacement. Now, we will take up this as an example. If I take between A to B, okay, the, so the distance between A to B, okay, can be somewhere like this or else somewhere like this. So, how, how I have to calculate the distance and displacement between this? Like it is a circle. 
so if i have to calculate the path the distance so i have to calculate the circumference of the circle but if i want to calculate the displacement if it is enough if i calculate the diameter so we will see the solution one by one distance is calculated by the circumference as i told you earlier half of the circumference between because the full circumference gives us the circle between a and b either i can go like this or else i can go like this so it is half of the circumference which comes up up to 22 meters and you have to observe here pi value i have taken it to be 22 by 7 okay next if i go for the displacement it is nothing but the diameter so it is nothing but twice of the radius which gives me 14 meters okay now the key features of our adhikamana is nothing but we take up the online or else the offline classes for third to 10th standards we take the exclusive classes for the navodaya also we have the exclusive classes for the summer batches we give the mock tests for the 10th standard students we also have extra curricular activities like drawing dancing singing everything so if you are interested kindly contact us kindly contact through these numbers so thank you all and bye